can come back here. I said, come back here. How dare you walk out on me? Father, I will not have you dictate to me how to live my life. I am your father, and it is my responsibility to put you on the right track of life. And I am your son. It is my right to live my life. Ken! I do not want this to sound like disobedient, Father. But if you will excuse me. Again in this life, that is gonna be enough. What is it? I, what is it? Even if you gain the whole world, you will not be satisfied. What is it? What is it? So much want is the problem of man Right from creation And until this day We die of the same cause Greatness is the problem of man Right from creation And until this day We die of the same cause What's happening to mankind? What is happening? What's happening in family? What is happening? Peace and unity is nowhere to be found. What is happening? And where is brotherly love? Every day we're fighting over everything. What is happening? Why are we killing one another? What is happening? What is happening? Oh, what is happening? Why are they? It is in the brain. I tell you. Oh man, man, I'm so proud to associate with you, you know. It is what it is, brother. Yo. Charles, the Lou. What's up, bro? What's up? Um, sorry I'm late. Yes, you are late. What happened? I got some complications. With complications. Well, it's nothing to bother yourself about. I've taken care of it. Perfect. Do you have the money? Oh, the money. Yes, I. Rule number one. According to Scar's theory of business arrogance, time is of a major essence, my friend. I know. Never waste time. Listen. Soon and very soon, you will reap the dividend of being a man of your own. And you will like it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Listen, relax, guys. Let me call some bunnies, eh? Some we need some onion booties here. <laughs> Something to make us feel <laughs> good. Some good dark. Wow. <laughs> so you know I'm saying? <laughs> I like them. <laughs> I want to feel a bug. I need to be a bug. He's a root you know. Oh yes. Really? Abel said this about me at the CMO meeting. I can't believe this. Because of my son Ken. Okay, I know what to do. Thank you. Ken, you are the reason I called this meeting. Me? Yes, you. For God's sake, why have you chosen to make me an object of ridicule? Father Thompson sent for you, and you practically refused to see him. Son, please. Tell me, what have we done to deserve this public insult we received because of you? Ken! Dad. Mom, no one has done anything to me. Now let me ask you a question. Is it a crime that I chose to be a man of my own? Do things I want to do. 
go to where I want to go without having father dictate to me how to live my life. You shut up! I say shut up! Oh, you call jumping from one hotel to another with girls, lavishing my heart and money, being a man of your own. Oh, 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 now I see where all this is coming from. Money. Well, it is my father's money that I'm spending. And for information, father, money is meant to be spent. You see? You see what I'm talking about? But dad, Ken is right. You've made so much money. If your children cannot spend it, who will? Because you're not going shut up and go to your room. Dad! To your room now. I said to your room. The poor oh, and there's... Get it right. You see? Charles is now taking sides with Ken. Barrister Ashley. Yes, sir. Do you know the weight of responsibility Barrister Azu placed on your shoulders? by recommending you as my legal advisor. Yes, I do, sir. You need not worry about that. I promise you, sir, you will find it interesting working with me. I pledge my full commitment and total competence. Barrister Ashley, my boy, for 22 years, Barrister Azu worked for me as my legal advisor. He never gave me any reason to doubt his potentials or his credibility. I hope he will follow the same footstep. Uh, yes, sir, I will. I, I'll try my best. My possible best not so. Let your best be good enough. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Oslo, it's me, Scar. What's, what's going on there? Two weeks, no supply. Huh? Two damn weeks, no supply. The last one just yeah, ended Oscar, yesterday. Hey, Oscar. I'm tired of this. I've had enough of this. What is it, Father? Where is my money? What money are you talking about? Yeah, boy, don't play games with me. Where is the $10,000 I kept in my drawer upstairs? You and I are the only two people who have access to my bedroom. So in other words, I took your money, right? Who else did? Now listen, Oscar, don't get me worked up. You won't like me. See, you have one week. One week to return that $10,000 to my drawer. Else, I will stop your allowance till I recover my entire money. Oh man, you lie. You lie big. And by the end of the week, my account statement speaks otherwise. I will show you the master in me. That's a promise. Why am I talking with you in the first place? If you fail to beat me, I will shock you down. I will. Hey, you are not going God, if, if there's a possibility, please return my wife and take him. Take him, bring back my wife. Yes, I did. Please, sit. No, just tell me why you called me. 
Ada, why don't you want to sit with me? What is the problem? Oh, that. So now, please sit. Okay. Why are you doing this to yourself? Huh? Why are you doing this to yourself and to everyone around you? I'm seated. I'm all ears. Listen, my dear sis. It's not what you think. I need your help, please. Ken, you know the bond we share. And you now cannot refuse you anything. But if it's about going to ask that money for your sake, that I will not try. Because the money that I've been giving to you in past few months, no one knows what to use them for, other than jumping from one hotel to another with big ass girls. Ada. No, Ken. If everyone is scared of you, I'm not scared of you. Okay. Okay. Now listen. My dear sis, I am truly sorry. But you just that there's this deal that I'm pursuing and I need to prove to dad and everyone around that I am not who they think I am. Oh yes. I need details. I'm sorry that I cannot give. Because it's supposed to be a surprise. Yes. Please. <laughs> okay. I'm not promising you, but I'll try. That is my dear sweet sister. Come on, give me a hug. <laughs> This money, only just the money. He don't care for family. He wanna secure the money. Give me my share, give me my own. I wanna live a life and do the things I want. It's like a prodigal son. He only wanna have fun. He wanna lavish the money. He wanna live the high life. That's the only thing he wants. If you know the damage is a custom for this family, then you. Charles, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in school. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in your office. This money, only just the money. He don't care for family. He wanna secure the money. Give me my share. Get that, get that dirty ass out of here. You mad or something? What are you? What you think you're doing? That ugly ass. What are you doing? If you get down on your knees, I'm talking to you. Get down on your knees. Get down on your knees. Get down. 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 Lower the gun, we can, we, can, we can discuss. You think I'm bluffing, right? We can discuss. I'm damn serious! I'm damn serious. I'm serious. See, the time for dialogue is over, right? Your busy squandering now. I'll let for that money with this, with this cheap alert, right? You don't call my woman a halot. You don't shut up! Shut up! You think I'm talking? You think I'm talking with you? Shut up! Shut up! See, the next time I step into the house, I will not waste my time punching on the wet that said in the only Bible that that shall not keep. Step aside! Step aside! Step aside! To your left! Step aside! Get down your knees! You think I'm talking? I said, get down your knees! Get down your knees. Take him to the right. Get, get to the side. Hansen, we can get to the side. We can discuss our this way. Get to the side. Get to the side. Go. Get to the side. Get to the side. This is what you enjoy, right? This one is. Ah, oh, that's my woman. That's my woman. You get shut, 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 shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. This is using cheap bleaching cream, right? You didn't even have a woman. This is a woman, right? You... Get on. Next time, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. So. Did you just say something? Did you just say something? 
Eu tô te dando uma mas... Que que tu se sombrio? You think I'm a fool to part ways with the sum of five million naira without knowing the proper channel where it will be invested on? Daddy, please, I need you to trust me on this. Please. I will put it into consideration, son. When you are ready to tell me what I need to hear. Until then, I don't want to revisit this issue again. Dad, Dad, please, please. Ask favor for him again, and your tears will fall short of notice. Driver, let's go. What have I done to this old man? I mean, what have I done to him that he's bent on throwing my efforts to the dust? I know that the only person that can put you in this kind of mood must be dad. So tell me, what has he done this time around? Just because I demanded for a little amount of money from him. Huh? He chose to make a mockery of me in the presence of his driver and the gate man. What? You mean that that did what? Are you doubting my word? No, 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 no. I'm not doubting you. I'm not doubting your words. Of course I believe you. But I mean, why would that do such a thing? Okay. I know what to do. Don't worry. I know what to do. And what do you think you can do? <laughs> Are you doubting my capability? Oh, oh. Yeah, no, I'm not. My beautiful wife and children. Seated beside me is a handsome young man by the name Ashley, Barrister Ashley. He has taken the mantle of being the legal advisor of our family. Um, Barrister Ashley, you're welcome to my home. Thank you very much, Chief. Permit me to introduce my family to you officially. Here's my beautiful wife and my first son, Kenneth. Hi, Kenneth. Yes. And then Steve. Hey, welcome, Charles. Barista. Thank you very much. Steve and Charles. Welcome, Barista. And that's my amiable, beautiful, priceless daughter, Ada. You're welcome, sir. I see. I see. I must confess you have a beautiful home and um, I'll say thank you for considering me your legal advisor. I'm overwhelmed, taking on the job and I promise you, I will never disappoint you. I believe you. Barista, you're welcome to our home. Thank you, Ma. Madam, you have a wonderful, beautiful family. Thank you. <laughs> I, I make you a promise and I'm giving you my word here. No truth. Nothing like this would ever repeat itself. No, no. I saw it with my eyes. I saw a gun pointing at my head. 
What would I have said to my poor parents that are struggling to see me through school? What? I'm so sorry, babe. No. I, I'm so sorry, okay? No. Uh, I know I never understand how you feel, but I give you my word, it will never happen again. That's enough, Tooks. That's enough. Your brother tacked me a prostitute that spent your late father's money with you. You see that your brother is worse than a monster. No, 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 listen. And until the saga between you and him is resolved, I want you to stay masked away from me. Stay away from me, Babe, Jones. I am the one you're in love with. I'm not Hampton. I'm not my brother. No. Please, babe. Babe, 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 babe no. you don't have to do this, please. Babe. The damage is a custom for this family. Then you realize that you're just a prodigal. A prodigal son. Just a prodigal son. You are a This money. Do you mean Hansen exists me to pull a gun on his brother? My dear, that boy is not just me. He's a monster. <laughs> Tomorrow he will have the gods to stand before me and prophesy love. <laughs> oh my God. Very silly man. I don't even know how the father will give it to that kind of a child. <sighs> so, so annoying. You see the old meal. You see the old meal. Yeah. I want to. What's happening here? What do you think is happening here? Huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, you know what? Um, well, um, as my wife to be and um. The head chief to chief Mwaboshi Empire. But um not like my boys and my stupid brother, right? I can trust you more, like I can love you more than trust you this. Do you think my peace to you is a promise of what you have? No, baby boy. I just want you to have a taste of what you never have. Mm. Fina, let's leave this place. <laughs> I'm some number one. Let's see, 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 let me tell you something. Wait, wait a minute. I'm um, focus on something. Uh, wait, I'm focus on something. That is Inisha Gragara. Did you see that backside? I'm seeing everything. I swear that I'm going to dismantle <laughs> later, right? No, my one. I'll cause a massive damage to the bedroom see, on this. See, let, she is yours. She's mine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No two ways about it. me to know that such a monster comes from the lungs of a noble man. Fina, pain is a phantom of the mind. Just stay focused and stick to your man, okay? Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. He cannot do anything. Okay. I'm leaving for work already. I thought today was supposed to be your off. Oh, yes, today's my off day. But I've decided to use it to uh, get to my office, tidy some things, then I'll go see Chief. Oh, that's okay. Oh, look, only, only wait, please. Oh, um, what about what we discussed last night? Have you looked into it? Oh, yeah, I did. I looked into it. 
And I've come to a conclusion that it won't be possible. I don't get it. What do you mean by it won't be possible? As in? That I am paying 500,000 Naira here already. Where do you expect me to get 1.5 million Naira for another apartment? Come on! Honey, you are the legal advisor to one of the most influential men in the state. And you're asking me where you will get the money from? You know the answer already. Don't even go there, woman. Please don't go there. Oh, you know what? I'm your husband. You are my wife. You know what that means? Wherever I stay, you stay. No! For your information, since you, you, you don't want to lift your responsibilities as a man, I will leave you with no other option than to quit this miserable union you call marriage. I can't continue living like a pauper. I can't. What? <sighs> <sighs> Listen to me. If not being able to get you an apartment in your choice location will make you quit a marriage of five years, then be my guest. You heard me right. I'm out. Ash! Ashley! Myself clear. I'm speaking for you. And again, when you want to shoot, you shoot. When you pull a gun, make sure you shoot. You don't talk, boy. You don't talk. Let's go. 
Make sure you intend to shoot and not talk. This issue that has been giving me a sleepless night lately. And what could that be? It's about your will. My will? I don't understand. Um, Chief, I'm opportune to be your legal advisor. And I have an obligation to advise you on legal issues. I am a blunt man, Barrister. I appreciate bluntness. Okay. Um, don't you think it's hard to you how your will pins down? Barrister Ashley, so you came to my office this morning to wish me death? Uh, uh, no, Chief. Uh, how do you mean wish you death? Look at me. Take a good look at me. Do I look sick? I am strong. And I'm not ready to die. Not now. Chief, that's not what I mean. That, that's not the point. Mr. Ashley, the first day I set my eyes on you, I wished you were my son. And I took you and treated you as one. Do you know that there are 101 lawyers out there wishing to take your place? I'm sorry, Chief. Excuse me, I have work to do. They baffle me, be say. How you still the role with that guy? That weakling of a guy. How you still the role with that? Uh, oh, stop saying that. That's not the right thing to say right now. Especially not to our friend. <laughs> it's okay, babe. Stop crying. Please. You girls don't understand. You girls don't understand. I saw death. I felt death. Mm -hmm. But how I managed to escape death. It's what I cannot tell. Exactly <laughs> waiting at the top. Exactly <laughs> waiting at the top. See eh? I, but I, same way no fit protecting babe. If anything, anything where can't happen. You don't feel there with them now. Babes. Like seriously. <laughs> why do girls live without me? You know. Why is she crying? What happened to her? <laughs> Nothing at dead body if I ask that question. No. How? I do not understand. <laughs> Chooks and Nancy's brother nearly killed Fina with their guns. You mean Chooks has a gun? Yes, obviously. I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> I saw both of them pointing guns at each other. Threatening to kill themselves over their father's property. Doesn't their father have a will? That's the problem. 
Their father has no will, says the lawyer. I don't understand. Because a man of that status, why wouldn't he put down a will before death? Knowing fully well that death does not give a pre notice before coming. That uh, one, a medicine after death. Waiting don't happen, don't happen. I'm Fina, they still they cry. No, they cry, Fina. Ah. No, no, no. Good afternoon, Steve. And why do you look like someone that has just been attacked by 10,000 blood sucking vampires? I seriously cannot fathom the reason Ken is doing all this. Oh, my dear, I'm as baffled as you are, honestly. It's, it's just so surprising that our own Ken has completely changed to something else. The most annoying part of it is that Charles is dancing to his tune. And what were you expecting? Why will he not dance to his tune when his mind has been corrupted? Father is not doing anything about it. Father? What do you want the old man to do? Kill himself for them? Come on, that's not possible. Dad, I want to ask again, why do you restrict everyone except me access to this room? And why do you always come here each time you have something bugging your mind? My daughter, I give you access to this room, my phone and everything about me, because I can confide in you more than your siblings and even your mother, my wife. Okay, Dad. And as for me coming here whenever I'm troubled. <laughs> Adam, my daughter, let me give you a secret. This room you are in is soundproof. Oh, which means there is no access of sound both in and out. That is very correct. I call this my thinking room. You see, to be a great man, you must have ideas. And for you to conceive ideas, you need to think. And for you to think, you must have a conducive and enabling environment to do that. Hmm. So Dad, as a great man that you are, I want to ask, do you have a will? No. No, my daughter. This is not time to talk about that. Yes, Dad, this is the right time to talk about it. For you to be fulfilled, even in your death, is to see your family living in peace. You're right. Dad, have you ever sat down, close your eyes, and imagine what will become of your family if it happens you answer the call of nature tomorrow? Considering the bad behavior Charles and Ken are putting up lately. Think about it, Dad. Think about it. Holly, please. You have to listen to what your, your daughter told you. Why is everyone wishing me death? For God's sake, I am still strong and healthy. Nothing will happen to me, at least not now. Uh, no, nobody is wishing you death. All we're saying is, you should do the right thing at the right time. I am done with this discussion. I'm off to a meeting. What a stubborn man. Simple advice he will not take, oh my god. I asked 
ask again. Charles, what the hell are you doing in my office? Dad, I'm here for the money. What money are you talking about? Well, Dad, since you've refused to see beyond your fears and understand that your first son is old enough to do things for himself and take his destinies by his own hand, I, Charles, have decided to support him and stand beside him. I can see that you have gone mad. Before I close and open my eyes, you have disappeared from here. Well, Dad, since you've decided to play the game this way, you should be ready to explain to Mom and the CMO what you were doing in the supermarket with that woman kissing and frolicking. And the reason you refused to pen down your way. What did I hear you say? You heard me right, Dad. So you have chosen to blackmail me? Well, Dad, you forced my hand. And now I have to force yours. Just give me the money and I promise I won't tell you so. Promise me that this remains our little secret. The money, Dad. I'll do a transfer. I love this kid. All he wants is money. Money, just the money. You are a good man. He don't care for family. Wow. He wanna secure the money. Give me my share, give me my own. I wanna live my life and do the things I want. <laughs> huh? Imagine me, Chloe. Chloe of all people. Now you that sex man you carry, enter office. Come the yam your pata say. My answer shit the miss. That if I no open, make it enter, I carry over. Yeah. Oh. Babes, are you serious? <laughs> imagine the nonsense. Mo, that man get mine though. Can you imagine? He has the guts to sit down and conceive such bullshit. Oh, Babes, your blood is too hot. They calm down. Just they calm down, eh? You don't forget, say, every rat gets its own poison. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Like seriously, babe. <sighs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Mm. Huh. Fina. Now you they ask this kind of question. You don't forget say time holds a solution to its own problem. No, just ask so. Yeah, you don't need to ask. Hi babes. Hi babes. Oh, I'm babe. Can I can I have a word with you, please? Hey, no, 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 no. She know they come out here. She know they go anywhere with you, <coughs> Mr. Lover Boy. Oh, and, and babes, please. Hmm? Let me handle this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I am tired of your constant promises without action. I am tired. Chooks, I love you. And nothing can change that. I, I, listen. Listen, Chooks. Like my mother will always say, a woman in labor does not call for celebration. Go and deliver first. Did I... Babes. Let's go. So much <laughs> Babe. I just said you do my thing. Babe. 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 Babe.
and until this day. Yes. Yes, Ken. How are you? I'm okay. So tell me, did you get the money from him? Of course I did. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You did? Here is the alert. This is too good to be true. <laughs> so tell me, how did you do it? Ah, uh, well, at first the old man was proving too stubborn. As usual. Uh, not until I applied code number five. Code number five? What does that mean? Ah, uh, well, I'd rather not talk about that. That's my little leverage. Your little leverage? Well, I have the money. I'm just going to transfer your share where I keep mine. <laughs> you know, like you always say, time is of essence when it comes to business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My little brother is learning, man. Of course. <laughs> Check your phone. I just did the transfer now. Wow. This is too good to be true. <laughs> I love this. I love it. I'm telling you. I'm loving this game. Love <laughs> what is this commissioner trying to prove? I put him there. And now he's trying to bite the hand that feeds him. Amadi, my friend. You and I have come a long way. And it is in my place to tell you the truth. What truth? That young man just assumed office. Please, give him some time to settle down before you start making demands. Benji? I'm working about Benji. I forgot about Benji. Is Benji not your name? Benjamin, I Benji. So, that is the truth you see. Hey Benjamin, if that is the truth you see, please keep it to yourself and finish your drink. Huh? Do you know how much it cost me to put him there? Amadi, my good friend, I do not mean to stir up your honest nest. All I am trying to say is, give the young man a chance to reciprocate. Huh? It's good to always exercise patience in life. We need to learn how to calm down. You know, rushing things always bring problems. So I'm impatient. Benji, Mama impatient. You gonna bomb Benji? I forgot about Benji. Okay, man. No, I know what to do. I know what to do. A higher authority will sort this out. Benji, me impatient. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Calm down. Mr. Man, what do you think you're doing here? Uh, oh, well, I've been waiting for you to come back to your senses. I'll return to your home. As a matter of fact, our home has been very, very lonely since you left. You have to come back, okay? And loneliness, we call you by name. Since you have refused to do what has to be done. Listen, Ashley. You see that godforsaken place you call a house? I am not coming back to that place again. Just know this. What has come over you? Huh? What has come over you? Just listen to me. Listen to me. You have to come back to your senses. This is not you. Is this how you want to throw away five years old marriage? Don't you even go there. If this is how you want to treat a woman that has been by your side for the past five years, turn her into a laughing stock among her friends, and you expect me, me of all people, to be happy, then you must go kiss the devil. Oh, now I see. I see where all this is coming from, right? Friends, right? Yes. My friends, they all live in a conducive apartment and drive about in exotic cars. And me, who do I move about with? This, a jalopy. That is what I move about with. Is that what you call this car? A jalopy. Anyway, um, 
All I want to say is, please, you have to come back to your senses. This is not you that I know. All right? I thought I, I, I pleaded with you to give me time. Be time, patient. time, time is what I don't want to hear. I hate hearing those words. I hate it. <sighs> Ashley, just leave, please. I am done with this conversation. Leave. What's the problem? <sighs> One more thing. When you are ready to meet up with my demands, then you come back. If not, I don't want to ever, ever set my eyes on you again. Hey, hey, come back. Are you walking out on me? Are you walking out on me? What will man get in this life? That is gonna be enough. What is it? I, what is it? Even if you gain the whole world, you will not be satisfied. What is it? What is it? So much want is the problem of man, right from creation and until the. Ada? 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 Sorry, Mickey. I did not hear you call. I just felt like being alone. No, Ada. I don't think you are fine. Talk to me. You know I'm always ready to share your problems. My family is in chaos. Chaos? How? My Sorry. elder brother, Ken, has decided to be a man of his own. And by so doing, he's putting everyone in jeopardy. Yeah, I, I, that is not a problem at all. Because Ken is old enough to choose his path. But well, he's choosing a wrong path. I still don't understand. How do you mean? All he does is jumping around from one hotel to another with ladies. He has refused to continue with the family business. And the most funniest part of it is that Charles is dancing to his tone. Oh, I don't know how I understand. But you see, you don't have to kill yourself over this, okay? I think all you have to do now is to always put them in your prayers so that God will touch their heart before it's too late. Ada, everything will be fine. How many times have I told you to stay away from my woman? And how many times have I warned you to stay away from me? Will you shut up or shut it up for you? Huh? Tattoo! Sir. Get me my fighting shoes. Uh, my, my, my brother. Hansen, please, just leave this place. Hansen. Number one. Hansen, one if you you get me my fighting shoes quick! I will deal with you! Shit! Gross, gross. Guys, Please you know me. what to do, right? Yes, number one. Take him up now. Hey, 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 my brother, I'm the only son of my parents. Bro. Hey, hey, come hey, come hey. Come hey. Come hey. Come Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Sandro, come Sandro, come Sandro.
Uh, the family is fine. We are doing great. We are all so proud of you. Yes. Yes. All right, His Excellency. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Stephen, how may I help you? Dad, there's something very important I've been meaning to find out from you. Sit down. Thank you, Dad. And what are we talking about? Dad, I keep having this feeling that the identity of my real father is being concealed from me. So I want to know truly if I'm from your testicles. Stephen, what are you saying? What I'm saying is that I'm tired of living like an indigent in my own father's house. Stephen! Ada, we all know she's your favorite. And that's fine. What about Ken and Charles? They are busy enjoying the dividends of everything you worked for. But look at me, Dad. Will you shut up and get back to your room? And never you in your life make such complaints. Dad, you need to think about it too. You really need to think about this. I say, get out. You really need to think about this. The son of a former deputy governor is so broke that he can't even meet his own demands. Get out! Son of a former deputy governor so broke. You're living like a stranger in your own father's house. You should be the one to answer that question to yourself. Um, number one, I thought you were here to place. Then why did you suddenly change your mood? My number one, who is that monster that wants to steal life out of you? Boss, you know say you won't know day. Maybe just keep ourselves busy. Correct that. See, uh, all this English, we will not speak. That will not enter my brain at all, at all. Say, boss. See, uh, that devil the verse that must stop angels from flexing. Can you put the end on? This life now, one time. Eh? Not be so. Yeah. You go calm down. You know what, guys? Um, my brother took some. It's proven difficult. I think we need to tie him up. Let's show him the other side of life. That's but until then, let's just flex. Ah, bruta! Ah. The boss will. Ah. My number one. Ah, we believe you. Ta. Chief, Chief, please wake up. We need to talk. Oh, can this talk wait till morning? No. We need to talk about this here and now. Okay, what is it? Seriously, I am bothered. I am bothered about our children. Ken and Charles. As a mother, I don't feel comfortable. Seeing my children living like sheep without a shepherd, it's eating me up. Is that the reason you woke me up from sleep? Yes. That is the reason. Because you are not helping issues here. How do you mean? Because each time your will is mentioned, you flare up. The next thing you start accusing everyone of wishing you dead. Well, woman, I can see you have nothing better to talk about. Women, they have refused to understand that the secret of a man's heart is like a deep sea 
which no other can tell the content of it. I thought I knew my husband. But now, I am beginning to think otherwise. Sir, you called me. The annual investment file that I asked you to bring to me. Where is it? I can't find it. Sir, I placed it on your table. And I said I can't find it. Sir, here it is. Where? Right in front of you, sir. 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 I'm sorry I shouted at you. I don't know what I was thinking. No problem, sir. I understand. I'm sorry, you can't go now. Barrister. Yes, madam. You're supposed to be my husband's legal advisor. And it's your duty to advise him on legal matters. Very well said, madam. So why is it that up till this moment, my husband has not put down his will? What's going on? Madam, the issue of chief's will is complicated. Complicated? Yes, ma'am. What do you mean complicated? Okay, the last time I went to Chief's office, I tried to make him see the importance of writing his will. But guess what? Chief looked me in the eyes and accused me of wishing him death. Wishing him dead? Yes. <sighs> Not just that. You also reminded me that there are 101 lawyers out there wishing to take my place. Meaning? If I press further, I should be ready to kiss my job goodbye. So you see, madam, it is complicated. Chief. Oh my God. It's okay. Let me drop you at your office. Okay. Please, please don't do this to me. Just name your price financially and I am going to do it. Please, sir. You know what is best for you. I don't need your money. All I need is that little thing in between your legs. So please, I have not done this before. I made a promise to my God that until I get married, please, please don't do this to me, please. Wow, this makes it more interesting. Since you and your friends have decided that no lecturer will have a taste of your waist, I am telling you that I, Magnus, whatsoever I desire, I magnet. Now, leave my office and consider my course a career. Oh, no, 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 sir. Okay, 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 okay. I'm it. I'll do it. <laughs> now you are talking. And I promise you, the experience will be memorable. And I also promise you that this will be the last. You will never sleep with another man. Because the appetite for sex will be far far away from you.
Good afternoon, bro. And where the hell do you think you are coming from? Mom, I don't know what you're talking about. You left this house yesterday without notice. Neither did you inform anyone you are sleeping out. You are telling me you don't know what I'm talking about? What has come over you this boy? Mom, I am no longer a boy. And as for where I'm coming from, it's nobody's business. Point of correction. I am still your mother. And for the fact that you still remain under this roof, you are my business. Well, mother, as you can see, I am tired. I am really, really tired. I need to rest my head. Excuse me. Ken! Ken! What is going on? What has come over him? Is it what she meant by I will not sleep with another black male? But um, what is it that she want? She demanded for her full mark hmm. and she's asking me to stay away from her friends. Well, actually, um, me and Chloe have not been best of friends. But one thing is for certain, if that recording gets into the public and I think um, I'll be tarnishing your image. That is what I'm talking about. So I would suggest um, you give in to our demand to protect your reputation. Besides, um, there are other ladies, there are girls outside now. The problem is, she's demanding that I should stay away from every female student in the campus. And you know, how can I, Dr. Magnus, Survive without magnetic the content of skirt. Okay, alright, alright. I think she's, she's really confounded, alright? And probably she needs to be stopped. Yes, she needs to be stopped. And I need that recording by all means. Okay, that's, that's not the issue, okay? Um, consider it done. First thing tomorrow by this time, I'll get the recording, okay? So what? One more thing, son. Make sure you keep a clean sheet. Always keep a clean sheet. You mean to your date, you're yet to come over. Despite the desperation the old man sees in me. He is still stiff necked, giving me the money. But this time, I will go back and confront him man to man. And this time, he will know what a desperate man can do. Rule number two According to Scar's theory of business, Never show your client how desperate you are. Else he will capitalize on your act of desperation to favor his own part of the bargain. Remember that. Money, money, just the money. He don't care for family. He wanna secure the money. Give me my share. Uh, 
Megint kollégén van. Hello, Bidis. You did crazy. Hello? Hello? Who is that and what does he want? Me, I don't know the person, no. But he don't say why inform me waiting Dr. Magnus the plan. And what could that be? He don't say Magnus the answer. Make he retrieve the recordings while I do for your office. He can tell him again, make him kill me. Is that man is seen? I think, I think I know what to do. I think this is why I saved that bastard number. Hey, Hello, Hansen. Oh, you think I'm not aware of your plan with Dr. Magnus? But all I want you to know is that if anything happened to any of my friends, Hansen, you have my father to contend with. Bastard. Fool. Okay, babe. Babe. Okay. babe, relax. Okay. Relax, okay. Uh -uh. Let's go. Nobody I got you me. covered. Not what happened to you. Let's go. Uh -uh. See, this one will be a matter of nothing will happen. Me, I know one die, you. Uh -huh. See. <laughs> <laughs> Street, they fear death. <laughs> Oh no, they laugh. Okay, baby. Forget, forget all this street matter. Forget the rugged detail. Okay, okay, okay. You won't die. Oh, I won't die. Ah. So just no. phone call. Yeah. You already afraid. See, yeah, this <laughs> life too sweet. I don't want it not be now. No, no, it's not funny. This one don't pass. I thought, yeah. I thought she's a street. Only no matter what the boss is. I love Jagaban. I love my life. So forget. I know what is killing you. But seriously, dude, I can't imagine my brother making life unbearable for me. Unbearable, you say? That would be an understatement. So what am I supposed to do? My hands are tied. Well, what do you mean your hands are tied? You have to teach him a lesson of his life. Well, you must know I don't have to go on a war with my brother Hansen. On the demise of our parents, I have become the head of the family. And as such, I have to continue with the peaceful legacy of our father. Well, you have a point, Chooks. I envy your courage as a man, but your younger brother is not seeing it that way. My options are limited. What am I supposed to do? I have to give my younger brother everything he wants for peace to reign. Man, you just need to be careful, okay? You will not be satisfied. is Oh, where is So much want is the problem of man Right from creation And until this day We die of the same cause Greatness is the problem of man Right from creation And until this day We die of the same cause What's happening to mankind? What is happening? What's happening in family? What is happening? Peace and unity is nowhere to be found. What is happening? And where is brotherly love? Every day we're fighting over everything. Mom? Mom? I've told you countless times to worry less about Ken. Ken is an adult that can take care of himself. Ken is my son and it's my duty to worry about him. Mom, I know Ken is your son. And so am I. But you barely care about me. Yes, no one in this house even cares if I exist or not. Every day is just Ken, Ken, Ken. Who are you, Major? Steve. Do you realize we're talking about your brother here? I know, Mom. Ken is my brother, and I never denied him. But it's about time we stop talking about him. 
and talk about me. Am I not a human? And what is there to talk about you, Steve? Yeah? That your elder brother has not been around since five days now. And this is all you have to say? That is the problem. That is the problem. I know you two will not say reasons with me. But as long as I'm consigned, Ken is an adult that can take care of himself. Period. Mm. You just put yourself together. Mm. You put yourself together. Besides, I spoke with Ken this morning. Yes, I did. You did? Yes, ma'am. And I promised to come back soon. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm not lying to you. Just put yourself together and you'll come back home soon. Okay? Nice, my phone. It's mine. Sorry. <laughs> No, I can't believe that it is you telling me this rubbish. Um, so I'm sorry, sir. The thing is, uh, we just have to give in to their demands. For crying out loud, what are you talking about, young man? Well, sir, the point is that, um, you know, on the process whereby we're trying to retrieve the, the recording, it was being leaked out. And one of the game question is the daughter of Chief Benjamin Okoli. Chief Benjamin Okole, yeah. the former deputy governor of our state. Absolutely. So, well, um, you know, she she threatened us a lot. Um, you know, as a father, as a deputy governor, she said if anything happened to her friend, I will have her father to contend with. So you see, um, it's already a lost battle. So there are some things we can't change. Don't be deceived by my physical presence. If I tell you that I'm well, then I am a liar. A blatant liar. Don't tell me that this is still about your issue with Ken. Of course, yes. As I'm talking to you, it's been five days I set my eyes on that son of mine. Meaning? Meaning he absconded from home to God knows where. And my wife has been breathing on my neck. My friend, take a look at me, my empire, you know my what, I have no wife, and the only child I have has proven to be worthless. My God. You know, sometimes I sit and I wonder what will become of my empire. All my years of sweat and hard work, what will become of it when I pay my debt to nature? What is really wrong with children of nowadays? My brother, drink up. I've stopped bothering myself about it. And I've resigned myself to fate. It is well. Even inside the well, it is well. Life is a journey into the unknown.
Ada? How are you? I should be asking you how do you do? Uh, well, as you can see, I'm fine. Mickey, why are you trying to avoid me? Is it because of what happened the last time? Yes, Ada. Yes. Because your boyfriend, he's been... Uh... Point of correction. Hansen is not my boyfriend. He's just a big fool that has refused to acknowledge where he's not welcomed. Well, the person you are calling a big fool has been parading himself as your boyfriend. And he has threatened to deal with any man that comes around you. That is the nonsense I'm talking about. Hey, Mickey. Look, Ada, to you, it's nonsense. But, uh, Ada, have you forgotten the family I came from? Eh? Have you forgotten how I got this admission? Please, if you truly love me as a brother, don't render my parents childless. Please, I'm begging you. Just let me go. I don't have the strength to fight this guy, please. Mickey, Mickey, stop saying those words to me. It hurts me. Mickey! Mr. Wong. <clears throat> Niyama. Mr. Wong, I'm not happy with you. This is not our agreement. We agreed that I would make an initial deposit of $65,000 which I did, and that my goods will be ready in two weeks. Ah, uh, Tisha, Tisha. Look, this is three weeks, and I'm not happy with you. Father! There you are. There you are. Father. You can't be talking while, while, while I'm here. You can't be on the phone. Talk to me. Talk to me. Mr. Wong, if I do not receive my goods by next week, we're going to handle my father. And what is it, Oscar? It's two days past my beep day. I called my account officer today, he was talking gibberish. Can't see your feel. What's going on? Well, He's following my instructions. I told him that no single cobble will get into your account. I told you that you will not receive any money until I recover the entire $10,000. Listen, old man, you have thrown down the gauntlet. A scar will gladly pick it. Mark my word. You're challenging me. I don't make challenges. I make promises and I keep them. Don't let me fast track your process. Don't let me speed up your process! I will When a child refuses to allow the father sleep, that child himself will know no sleep. How dare you dare to dare to dare think of sending those little boys after me? How dare you? You listen, boy. Before you ever thought of becoming a bad boy, I was already a general in the streets. And you know it. Before you ever touched your first gun, I was already whining and dining with armories. You see, the greatest mistake you would make at this point is resurrecting the monster in me. If you make such a mistake, that buried monster would consume you. You sent little boys after me. No Hansen, you sent your dogs after me. Have you gone nuts? I will forgive you this time 
for the sake of the blood we share as siblings if it ever repeats itself again I will be left with no option but to plaster this wall with your brains you see you for trying to pull a fast one on me a retired general from the streets Mahaba to God will make me a new Hansen. I don't mark your face to God. I don't mark your face. Could you imagine that that old man bluntly told me, Scar, that the child has said the father will not sleep. We know no sleep. Look, that was his exact words to me. Me? That means that the old man has made up his mind. And I tell you, my guy, this is not good for our broke ass. Do you know that it was Angela that foot the hotel bill yesterday? And as we speak, I don't even have the hope of paying. Don't worry, Ken. Don't worry. I'll fix this. I still remain scar. I know what to do. Okay. <sighs> I am seriously thinking of going back to confront my old man, man to man. And you think that's the best option? Well, for now, it is not just the best option. What the only one? Well, if you say so. My dear, your son is bent on causing me pains. I love him more than all my children, but he has chosen to throw my affection for him to the mud. Wow, 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 Good day, Daddy. Good day, Mom. Steve? Yes, Mommy. What's the excitement about? Um, just guess. Guess, please. Steve, your Mommy and I were in the middle of a conversation before your interruption. So if you don't mind, state your reason for the interruption. Okay, okay, let me just spell it out. Um, Daddy, I've just been given admission to do my master's abroad. Wow! Yeah, I'm super excited! Congratulations, son. Thank you, Daddy. Son, you just made your mother and I very proud. I'm so happy. Congratulations. My son. Come, 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 my boy! <laughs> I'm so happy. I am proud of you. Thank you, mother. This calls for celebration. Of course it does. <laughs> Honey, what's the sad face for? I wish Ken is still the same loving boy he, I used to know. Please, Sonny, don't just start. This is supposed to be a very happy moment for Steve. Don't even bring Ken into... Honey, please. I'm, I'm sorry. Once again, congratulations, son. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. If you guys still relax, everything will be all right. What is it, Ken? What's the problem? I'm sick and tired of this one. What has that done this time? Can you imagine? Simply because I demanded a patriot sum from him. He threatened to disown me. Disown you? Yes. Ah. Dad must be joking. No chance. Our father has a way of carrying out his threats. But before he puts me off track, he will have to join his ancestors. What? You heard me right. You must be joking too, like that. You want to cut short the old man's life? Our father has little or nothing left in his miserable life. 
I only want to end it quick and tonight. Ken, what will people say? What will happen to mom? And don't forget the law. What will the law do to you? Oh, Charles. Charles, those are questions for the future. We have a decision to make. And for the law, it is bullshit when it comes to those that means it. Are you with me or not? You just like our father. Never goes back on your word. You need to think about this thoroughly. Think it through before making a mistake. There is nothing to think about, Charles. I ask again, are you with me or not? Ken, the law is what makes us better. Not today, Charles. Not today. Mom, there's something I want to talk to you about. What is it? It's about Ken, Mom. What about Ken? I said, what about Ken? Mom, why does Dad hate Ken so much? Where did you get that from? Is it not obvious, Mom? The hatred is just so consuming. Even the blind can see it. Hello, young man. My husband is a loving father. And he loves all his children equally. So I don't know what you're talking about. What kind of a loving husband and father be treating his own son just because he has for financial help? Tell me it's not true. Mom, you have to talk to your husband because he's pushing that young man to do that which he doesn't want to do. Do what? Mom, talk to your husband. He wants his money, only just the money. He don't care for family. He want to secure the money. Give me my share, give me my own. I wanna live a life and do the things I want it's like a prodigal son He only wanna have fun He wanna lavish the money He wanna live the high life That's the only thing he wants If you know the damage is a cousin for this family Then you realize that you're just a prodigal A prodigal son Just a prodigal son you I want to reveal to you a burden I've carried in my heart for over 30 years. And I want you to keep it with you until the need for it arises. Okay, Dad, I promise to keep it with me. I cross my heart. Over 30 years ago, before I met your mother, I had an affair with this lady whom I loved so much. On the eve of my travel to the US for my masters, this young lady revealed to me that she was pregnant. I was excited and at the same time sad, but there was nothing I could do. She promised to keep the child and I promised to love her forever. In the process, we both lost contact and since I returned to Nigeria, I have searched everywhere for her, all to no avail, before your mother came into the picture. And you have carried this in your heart for over 30 years, Dad? Yes, my princess. Because something in me gives me hope that one day I will run into this woman and my child. Oh, was that the reason you refused to pen down your wheels? 
Well, my daughter, you are not far from the truth. To make up for all these years, my will must favor them. I understand you, Dad. At least for the child, wherever he or she might be. I know it must have not been easy growing up without the love of a father. Thank you, my daughter, for your understanding. You can go to bed now. Okay, Dad, you have a sound sleep. And you too. I always love you. I love you more.